Okay. That's where we're gonna go. Yeah. Welcome back to the key, folks. Well, this is bench two through six. Anyways, a lot of time lapse here for the first four of the bunch, and we'll uh, get into the details for the sixth one. Glad you're back. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe. It helps the channel out lots. Anyways, enjoy. If you're working on a pole barn project, let us know what you're doing and how it's coming along. Hope we can inspire something. Glad to have you here. Well, here we go, folks. As we raise these, uh, last, this last bent, the uh, grapple's closed up. But as we get higher, I actually open up the grapple. And kind of sketchy, but uh, what we do is we actually rotate the uh, bent right up onto the upper portion of the clam. So get up as high as we can. Thankfully, gravity's in our favor this time because the majority of the weight's below that uh, cross beam. Once we get it up as high as we can, we'll tie it up. And hopefully it doesn't slip. The braces that are at the back side of the uh, bent on the same side as I am on the tractor definitely add a level of security. Keeps things from falling over. <laughs> Or does it? Don't let go of that rope. Oh, hey folks. Since you're here, you might as well subscribe. Hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Cool. <laughs> Let's get back to it. <laughs> They're just pushing it up the last little bit by hand. Who needs a tractor when you got muscles? Now they gotta use the chain on the grapple to get the post into the base. 
in the sono tube so that they can bolt it in place. You can see the sono tube right behind the post. Mark just has to lift the whole slide up a bit so that Dick can manhandle it in. Because the posts are a six by 10 in a six foot square base, they had to cut a slot in one side to ride over the one side of the post. Need to loosen up the support a bit so that he can move it a little bit.
Now I'll level this side up and then it's been a good day's work. A little bit of persuasion, maybe. Well, now when we say park in the barn, we've actually got something to park in, sort of more than we had before anyways. Plus, there's a whole lot of cleared out space in my driveway. Well, that's the last one. Thanks to Dad and to my wife, Maury. Without them, this project wouldn't even got started. Anyways, folks, glad you can make it by to the key. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Always nice to chat to folks. Anyways, folks, take care, stay safe, stay warm. It's getting to be winter time out there. Ciao for now. Hee <laughs>